A new warning on what you might be finding online. Hyper-realistic job hoaxes, making it tough to tell what's real. I just spent $5,000 in office supplies for my new job. Yeah, that was a fake website. We just pulled a common remote job scam on you. Here's how it works. Scammers will post or reach out about a job that doesn't exist. They're actually after your personal info, like bank accounts, your social security number, or credit card details. They use that to drain your accounts. I lost $1,500 to a job scam. Often, they find targets through social media, people who say they've been laid off. What is it about someone who has recently been laid off that makes them especially vulnerable? We know that the job market is kind of tight right now, so and a lot of people do want to keep that work-at-home job, that flexibility. The Better Business Bureau says to research companies and positions thoroughly. Look at their look at their job board. Is that really a job? Take it a step further, reach out to their HR department and say, is this person working for you? Is this real? The Federal Trade Commission says it fielded nearly 61,000 complaints labeled job scams over the first nine months of last year, costing victims a total of $186 million. They were actually asking me for my bank account, for my social security number. Diego Martinez works in tech in the Bay Area. He says he was contacted by scammers last year who were impersonating recruiters from a real company. After just one interview via text over the messaging app Wire, no video, no conversation even, he says they offered him a high-paying job via email. Is that when your spidey sense said, hmm, this doesn't seem right? I think the spidey sense came from um, as I was talking with some friends of mine. I'm a seasoned job seeker, but still, I, I didn't see this coming. The FTC says examples of common job scams include work from home opportunities that sell you on being your own boss, nanny and caregiving roles that don't require an interview and any position that makes you pay to get hired. 85% of people in the U.S. are considering a new job. So this means it's going to get much more competitive. To find legitimate jobs, tap into your network first, update your resume with in-demand skills, and be wary of anyone who offers you a job after just one conversation. That's just not how companies do business. They have lots of processes to make sure that this is going to be, you know, a good fit for both people. I mean, so, so Vic, if this has happened to you, if you've already been scammed, what can you do? What should you do? Yeah, the first thing to do is always contact your bank, your credit card, try to get that payment reversed, but also be really aware of those checks. Never cash a check someone sends you to buy office supplies to set yourself up for that new job. Or they say, oh, we're going to pay you, but it's going to be a higher amount. You need to refund us the difference. That check will mm -hmm. always bounce. So by the time you give them your hard earned money, you go back and that check was never real in the first place. And also just remember, you should report to the FTC at reportfraud.ftc.gov to help other people, right? Because that's how the government and the law enforcement can keep track of these fraudulent trends yeah. and warn people. Yeah. Okay. Scammers are the worst. They the are the worst. Pits. We talk about it all the time. The pits. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.